Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. It is a nightmare the very sick can find themselves in, communicating their health history from one doctor to the next to get the critical care that they need. It's been an extra burden during this already difficult time. Now a Silicon Valley high-tech entrepreneur is trying to change that by fulfilling an important promise. Let me show you this. Entering the headquarters of Anil Sethi's Silicon Valley startup, a painting of a free-spirited woman is in the place where a corporate logo might otherwise loom large. It also represents all of the folks that my folks are working to help. Although the artist's depiction is just one person, Anil's little sister, Tanya. Tanya was always more spirit than flesh. But when she was 46 years old, doctors at the Johns Hopkins Medical Center gave her two weeks to live. She always thought she could beat this. She tried a bunch of different kinds of therapies. Anil joined Tanya on her journey to fight end-stage metastatic breast cancer. Crisscrossing the U.S. for a Hail Mary. He brought support and thought his knowledge of the health care system would be a plus. I've been doing what I do now for a little over three decades, and what I do is electronic health records. He took a leave from Apple, which had recently acquired his health care company. While I was following her around during her treatment in that last year, she was seen at a ton of places, and that means she left a breadcrumb trail of her medical information behind her wherever she went, and it just is fragmented. Did this mean that literally you had to haul around records from doctor to doctor? Healthcare is still using a lot of facts and pagers. And this is the 21st century. EKGs, you know, you'd have to fax it. I mean, I can't even think of how many different scans I've had over the last two and a half years. Everybody's on different systems. Disparate medical record keeping in the 21st century was a gut punch Lynette McMahon didn't need either. My diagnosis was confirmed it was cholangiocarcinoma, which is bile duct cancer. Chemotherapy had helped, but she wanted to be in a clinical trial matched to her and her disease, something Anil also wanted for his sister. I was sitting in her hospital room at uh, Hopkins, and I'm furiously going through all the uh, clinical trial websites that are out there, but I can't find anything. The organization isn't meant to be searched. It's not for patients it's to not, find no. where can they go, how can they get some help. Correct. So I printed out like 300 pages from ct.gov and here I am in the industry and I'm flipping through documents one by one just trying to find out something about, you know, is there anything that can save her? If there was, he couldn't find it. She was telling me, well, what are you going to do? And I said, what do you mean? She goes, after I die. And I said, well, I don't know. And she said, well, here's what you're not going to do. You're not going to retire, and you're not going to take a sabbatical, and you're not going to go to the beach. And I said, yes, ma'am. And I know that was the initial motivation for Tanya to push me to do this work. Tanya's last wish, that her big brother use his experience to help everyday citizens cut through a bogged down medical bureaucracy. He founded a company and named it Citizen. We have produced a digital twin of her that lives up on the Citizen platform. And that is the target for trials to look for her so she doesn't have to look for trials. It's an online system for patients to upload and digitally house all of their medical records, no matter the doctor. But now, with a click, they can see my entire history. And they can see it by provider, they can look at it by test type, Lynette was an early adapter with results. I was gonna, getting ready to go back on chemo, and just at that time, Citizen sent me an email and said, by the way, we were looking over your data, here's some clinical trials we think you'd be interested in. And then a week later, I started this immune therapy treatment. And it's because Citizen sent me that information. Citizen is now in its third year, and Anil is fueled by an unrepeatable motto under the painting of his sister to get back at cancer. Cancer patients are the starting point, but Anil is determined to give all citizens, sick or not, a single place for their medical records and match those who are sick to trials.
When Tanya died, I saw what happened in her medical records and all the good stuff is in the clinical notes and that isn't available and I know how to get that. So a lot of jigsaw pieces fell together and it just made sense. I mean, Dana, if it was dark at night and you saw a car pulled over and someone was in distress, you have to stop because you know you can help. Right. And I know how to do this. So this citizen app, free, 100% free to patients. Wow. And one of the big things is all those clinical notes, all the notes your doctors mm -hmm. take, so important to care, and those don't get passed along often. That is also a part of this. It took me the longest time to understand, wait a minute, if I don't carry around my medical data <laughs> with me, I move so many times, how, how are my doctors gonna know? It's tough. And I like when he talks about seeing some, a car pulled over on the side of the road. Yes, You know somebody is. needs help, you help. Yeah, and I think you can use your imagination on what it says below his sister. Absolutely. Picture. It's the phrase that everybody who knows someone who has cancer has uttered before. Yes. Yes, we have, we have all done. We can't say it here, but we'd like to. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Dana, that was a great piece.